Hey, we're, well, I'm back. I mean, it's been a long time. You know, it's been a couple months since I've made a video, and I feel really weird about it. So, first off, before I get into anything, I'm really sorry I haven't put out any videos recently. For a couple months, I guess I should say. It's been, I've been working very hard, and I also had a very, I had some difficulties with my, op, with my editor, I use Filmora, it's a great editor, especially for somebody like me who's very low level editing, but unfortunately, I had to reset my computer, so I lost it, and I've also been working so much that I have not had the time to really take and do to where I could truly get what I wanted, how I wanted, out of the, out of my system. So, I haven't been able to make videos, and I am really sorry about that, but I had to work, I had to do, but there is something good coming out of it, and this will come apparent pretty soon. I'm going to be upgrading to a way better PC. I actually probably will do a video of me building the PC and maybe running some little synthetic benchmarks, which would be fun. But anyway, so that's going to really be nice because I'll be able to stream. I'll be able to play more ma mainstream titles. I mean, you've probably looked at some of the quality of some of my videos, but unfortunately I can't really run much else besides low settings due to, well, the hardware that I'm running off of. So I hope to have a better setup soon. Now, this is kind of my first video back. Since I'm back more into schooling and I'm out of work I'm going to be able to get back onto YouTube. I'm going to be able to hit it hard and I'm going to be able to try and get us another year of content and doing. So this is kind of me saying I'm back from my break. I took a break and I'm going to be back. Now I want to try and bump it up to two a weeks this year. I went off to one a week last year's. Now I kept some two a weeks but I kept it at one a week and I know I said that before summer. But I think it was good because I got to rest my brain. I got to kind of step away from all the craziness of you know my life and YouTube and all that so just I got to step away work do and now I'm back with a lot more knowledge than I had beforehand and I'm just really excited to be completely honest so today we're going to talk about what Gaijin has done about well what Gaijin is doing to attempt to get some sort of balance in their game now if you're very big into the you know updates and different changes in the game of that sort of news, you're probably going to have heard about this, but Gaijin has decided to lead a couple tanks. Now, if you saw me in the start of the video kind of going and showing them, it was the Mouse, the Kugelblitz, and the Panzer 105, well, 10.5 centimeter, which is a 105 millimeter gun, and a Panzer II. Now, the reason they gave for this was because they were not ever built, or there was only technical drawings of these, which I can kind of respect, but another reason they gave was due to balance. Well, I guess me wanting to say, what I want to say about this is, personally, I do not think Gaijin should give us a tank and take it away. To me, people like me, I'm very low tier. I mean, if you saw at the start of the video, I'm very low tier for Germany on the game. So, it's nothing personal. I enjoy Germany. I enjoy the. I really am kind of a sucker for the Panzer III. I haven't ever got. To, I haven't got to the Tigers yet, but I love the Panzer III just personally. But as as you saw there, the Panzer III doesn't love me when an M24 hits me. But so <laughs> anyway, I really do like these just types of. I really do like it. I think that you go up, you should get better things. But my problem is. Gaijin literally just told us instead of taking the time to change a change a way the system works, you know, lowering the armor, upping the tiers, leveling out a little bit, they just said we'll just remove it. Now, some of you might say this has been after several balancing changes. Well, sometimes things don't work right on the first try. I mean, we all know it. Sometimes you're gonna say, hey, you know, yeah, I can get this good, big, great system that'll just work so well. Well, okay, that that's gonna work. You know, yeah, you may have a game, you may have a tank that works perfectly and its systems are all perfect from day one. But ninety nine percent of the time that will not happen. So, here's my deal. What they're doing is they're not taking it out of people's libraries that have already earned it because that would really make the community mad. What they're doing is just saying it's now an event vehicle and if you did not earn it you can no longer get it which 
in my opinion, is something that's kind of, it kind of sucks. I mean, it's something for me who would love to have played the mouse. I'll never get the opportunity unless, you know, I can get on somebody's account who was able to get the mouse. Or I win the lottery and can buy it with golden equals in like two days. I don't have a lot of time to play video games. You know, I really do enjoy higher tier. I love the higher tier American that I've been on because I actually did buy a premium over the summer and when I took my off time from YouTube and worked and did in the evenings I would come home and play War Thunder and I was on a premium account so I was making more as far as making more Golden Eagles and doing it it's something that I really did enjoy but I feel like when you take out something that somebody's been working for they're gonna stop wanting to work for it which is just kind of an obvious statement but it's true so I don't think Gaijin should remove the tanks what I think Gaijin should do is take the time and the effort to rework the tank. Now, you may say, well, what, what if they can't? What if it's not balanced? There's always a way to balance a tank. Honestly, I don't think the mouse is overpowered. People are going to get mad at me about that. But I think if you really look at some... Now, yes, there are tanks that cannot hurt it. But if you look at some of the early APFSDS, they're going to punch right through it. And now what I would do personally is I would make their, I would make more opportunities for the tank to be hurt by lighter shells. I mean, just add a couple weak points. Now another one, if you make the HG splash to where it will splash down and destroy the tank, like maybe just put an ammo rack somewhere in the mouse's unprotected kind of top area of the body, I think that would be a smart way to do it. And personally, I do hate to see Gaijin doing this. I do think they are a very good developer and I do think they take a lot of time and effort to make their tanks very good and very well made for a game. So, you know, I do respect them for that. But the main thing that gets me really is that I hate to see them kind of opting out of really doing the work. Because I think these tanks could be fun and could be a really great thing for people, but they just, instead of doing the work, they kind of opted out of it, and that's how I feel. I mean, y'all may have different opinions, and y'all can share those opinions with me. I'm not going to be biased against you just because you don't share my opinion. That's not how things work, and that's not how I work. So, anyway, so, first off, I do want to say that I am proud, though, of Gaijin for one thing. Gaijin is at least doing something. Now you may say, well, didn't you just say you didn't like what they did? Yes, I, I'm not a very, I really despise what they're doing by taking out the tanks of people who really do want, really, kind of one of the iconic tanks in the mouse. I'm very upset with them. The Panzer and the Kugelwitz, I'm not as upset about. I personally never really wanted to play them, but the mouse is something that I think so many people are like, yeah, that's a really cool tank that I'd love to play, and people aren't going to get to play it because of that. So... Personally, that is my main pet peeve is they're removing the mouse because I also really did want to play it personally. But it is something that I do hate to see out of that, out of somebody who I know can make better stuff. Now, finally, before I let off, you know, that's kind of my main comment on that. Do regret that they didn't do it, but I also do respect them for doing something. But anyway, guys, today that's just going to be my deal. I just kind of wanted to tell you how I feel about this. I feel like Gaijin should do more work trying to balance the character, not characters, tanks, instead of just removing them outright because that's not going to get as much done and that's not really going to achieve a lot as far as balance and more an enjoyable gameplay if you take out the variety. So I really did enjoy this. I'm really sorry I took, you know, so long off, but I really needed it. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself with school and YouTube and I really do enjoy YouTube and I want to keep doing it but working it during the summer just you know just a regular hands-on job and being able to save money for a better recording and gaming PC is going to be great and I do really I'm very glad that I get to make videos but guys I hope you'll have a great day and just be ready for more content on this channel really sorry but also guys just thank you for making it to one year I don't intend to make it in every summer I take a break, but I do intend to keep it every so often. I will, you know, rest myself and do. Now, hopefully, this year I'm going to try and kind of break it up instead of just taking one big break, take a couple smaller breaks throughout the year. But that's kind of just what I want to do. I want to get back on the channel, guys. If we could hit 
five ten likes on this video that would be a great way to come back and start this what I'm gonna go season I guess so alright guys I hope y'all have a great day I love y'all and goodbye